morning everyone it's another Monday morning I don't even know what the date is I am all over the place at the moment I don't even know the last time I vlogged I haven't picked up the camera in days the last video that went up and there are some more to come after that like ended in a sort of a, a family emergency so I'm doing inverted brackets because it you know only because I can't really go in I can't go into it so I'm sorry guys what I'm going to be doing is just um, focusing I guess on my life and what I'm doing which may not be that exciting because I'm not feeling well great today but I thought I'd start vlogging again because I do enjoy my vlogging and I think it helps keep my life a little bit more normal and on track got Miss Rosie beside me and Bailey's waiting at the door we let him out so I'll do that Oh, know he's going now too <laughs> so um, life's been a bit topsy-turvy around here lately I don't even know what I've done not much because I have been in a bit of a flare and did go in. oh Rosie missed getting out the door then I'll open the door again Thank you for Kevin having put a button right beside the couch here so I don't have to get up and down all the time and that was the, the reason for that. Um, we did go and see um, a Cirque du Soleil show in Sydney on Saturday. It was at Avatar. Oh, even that was ended up being an ordeal. We ended up, there was more traffic than I'd expected. And when we got there, the car park was full. We had to go to another car park. Oh, Christy's coming back with the dogs in. I'll be back in this. Okay, I'm back. Christy forgot her laptop, so I had to come home for that. Yeah, um, now I don't know where I was. Oh, yeah, Avatar. Um, well, yeah, we ended up having to park at a further out car park. And it was like a 15, at least a 15 minute fast walk to the theatre. I'm already late. So we ended up being about 20 minutes late, I think. I don't know when the start, show started. We were supposed to start at four. When it started, I don't actually know. We got there at 20 past four. Um, so I missed the first part, obviously. And it just wasn't like a normal Cirque du Soleil show. If you've been to one, you'll notice like act after act, a little tiny bit of sort of intertwining things, but not much. It's just like so many different performances. This was more of a story with performances here and there. And why well, some were cool nothing was like jaw dropping like usually when you go to a Cirque du Soleil show you see something that you've never seen before and you go oh my word how do people do this there was, there was nothing like that so uh Christy and Tara really enjoyed it but Kevin and I were like yeah that was sort of to me a waste of money because it cost us a lot of money we haven't been to a Cirque du Soleil show for a number of years because we've been sort of saving our money um and whatnot so it was a real treat to go to one and it was very disappointing for a very expensive you know afternoon out yeah <laughs> so but anyway <laughs> to can't do much about it now uh, I don't know it'd be interesting to see what other people thought of it I mean the costumes were good the set was really good the lighting all that sort of stuff that just wasn't it was more story based than performances so we were disappointed because we had really been looking forward to it and said I don't think we've been to, to a Cirque show for a couple of years we've probably missed the last two to three that have come out to Australia um, but we are seeing two in Vegas so <laughs> I hope they're more like normal or well, they should be I think we're going to the Beatles one which is called Love and the adult one I think which is more I don't know uh, anyway no, I'm sure they'll be good so that was sort of all we did over the weekend. As I said, I was I was quite good on Saturday, thankfully, because I did that big walk. Um, I'd had a headache in the morning. I've had a lot of migraines lately. I think they're just sort of a bit stress. Brought on a bit, a bit of stress and whatnot. So, oh my God, that's a lovely hairdo. <laughs> um, so today I need to take Bailey to the vets. He's due to have his x-ray and hopefully get the go ahead to start walking again which I think would be very good for me too because I really haven't done much exercise lately which probably isn't helping things um, I mean I've been doing a little bit of housework but not much and a little bit of meal 
my preparation, but not much. I've been getting in my steps on my thing most days, so not not 10,000 steps. I think I aim for, it works out in kilojoules on the Apple phone, uh, the Apple watch, and I think I'm set for like 1,500 kilojoules or something. Not much, really, probably. Um, I don't know, 1,500 something or other, and I've met that most days. <sighs> um... Oh, I don't have much else to update you on because really I haven't really been doing a lot. I've got a lot of stuff to do around the house. But um, yeah, I'll just see how it goes and I thought I'd just start vlogging today. Again, it could be a daily vlog if I get enough footage, depending how the day eventuates, because every day is just so different. Um, so we'll just see. And I do apologise that I can't go into details of things. It's just... This is my vlog, my life, and I can't always share everything else that's happening with other people, even though it does impact on me. Maybe later on I'll be able to share. Maybe not. I don't know. I might be able to share bits. I might be able to be a bit more vague. I'm sure you understand, because if you do videos yourself, you know that you can't always share everything, no matter how much you want to, um, especially if it's predominantly about someone else. And if you don't video, you probably understand and you probably don't, part of the reason you don't video is because you don't want to share your life. So I'm sure everyone does understand that, that I can't reveal everything going on. Um, but you can tell from obviously my mannerisms that while there's some concerns, there's nothing overly... Um, It's serious, but not too serious. Let's say that. Um, my phone seems to think, oh, serious must have sounded like Siri. Because Siri's trying to talk to me now. Anyway, I'm having another cup of tea. I'm hoping my headache calms down. If not, I will um, take something for it. <laughs> and we'll just see how we go. In regards to, I'd like to just get the house sort of tidy up, a bit of vacuuming maybe. I mean, I'd love to do some cleaning, but that might just be a bit too ambitious. We'll just have to see how things eventuate. Okay, I have a dilemma. You guys might be able to help me. I don't know. The diary that I've bought the last two years has been from Kiki K. And it's a weekly diary. I can show you what it looks like and how I use it. So it's just like, it's got a plasticky cover on it, you can see. And it's a weekly diary, but it's got like just a few lines for each day. And then this side's blank. And it's perfect for me because I can put appointments or um, things I need to do certain days. I also track fibro flares. And then on this side, I put down the things I want to get done during the week and I mark them off. Because daily lists don't work for me. I just need to have things to get done that week. So I really like this format. Kiki K don't seem to have this diary anymore. I did actually, I'll show it to you. I ordered one. I ordered a few things from Kiki K, which I will share with you later on this morning. Um, but the diary I came, it's small to start with. And it's got the same format, but this side's got like a pattern over it. It's not like a list, but it's too small anyway. I think maybe I can, might have to work for me, I guess. Um, I think I paid at 35 for this one. Well, I did get it when it was on sale. And it was called the Inspire Diary. And it was called that last year as well. They don't seem to be making this one. I can't find it on their website anyway. So if anyone knows of a diary that's got a similar format, please let me know. Um, in the meantime, I've been looking everywhere, looking, trying to find stuff. There's a few ones that Office Works that might work. But I don't think they've got the same setup. So anyway, if you guys have got any suggestions... That's how I use my diary anyway, so that might, might give you a better idea if you've got one that you think would work. Let me know. I mean, I'm happy to order from America if I have to, though obviously an Australian one would be preferable because it's got, um, I usually have Australian public holidays and things like that. Um, and obviously if I don't, well, I could get one shipped to Vegas, so shipping's not a big issue, I guess, if, it's an, uh, if it is an American one, I'll just get it shipped to the hotel in Vegas. So yeah, let me know if you can help me out. Um, I won't get too bogged down on this, I don't think, right now. Because obviously I've got a few months to work it out. But yeah, it's sort of 
I do like to have my diary about this time and I can start to put in things for next year. But anyway, <laughs> I've got Rosie back with me now. I'm still sitting on the couch at the moment, I haven't got up. I'm going to try and drag myself up in a minute, go have a shower. But I just made a little list of things I would like to get done today. So because I mainly want to do the floors, um, I don't know if you can see fluff piles on the floor. Yep. I'm obviously going to have to clean up the floor first. Um, I want to clean off the kitchen benches and like just wipe down because I know some crumbs and whatnot on there, wipe over the stove top and things because I did do the kitchen partly last week but not properly so I just want to clean off the kitchen benches get all the crumbs onto the floor so I can vacuum them up I vacuum all downstairs and I want to mop the kitchen floor in the front entry because again that hasn't been done and then I want to make almond milk I've got almonds soaking at the moment make my overnight oats for tomorrow and take Bailey to the vet so if I can get through all of that today I think I'll be doing pretty well and then I've just started down here on some other things that I want to get done this week which is to wash um, my bedding and wash Christy's bedding um, but I'm not doing that today so I thought I'll just do that and so if I get through all of that then I can think what else I want to do today but and obviously I need, really 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 want to try and get sorted upstairs but I'll put that on that, that bottom list. <laughs> Because we're supposed to be going to Melbourne next week, so I need to get organized. I want to try and get the house sort of fairly organized. Uh, Mum and Dad ended up coming over for a visit, um, so I'll be having a nice chat with them. Put on um, Tara and Athena's washing, and I'm going to have some breakfast now because I'm really hungry now. And I think I'm just going to have some leftover rice from yesterday. Quick and easy, have that then try and get my shower and get to doing the dishwasher and hanging out washing and general stuff. <laughs> I can see not much on my little list is going to get done today but whatever we just we're just taking things a day at a time at the moment and just seeing what is possible for me to achieve if anything. It's a beautiful day outside. I was just looking at my psoriasis it's so bad so I'm gonna try really hard to Sit outside for 15 minutes and get some sun on my legs later on or for half an hour, 15 minutes front and 15 minutes back. But I think it's mainly why my knees is really bad. Now knees and elbows has sort of been the spot that's gotten bad. It's not as red but it's dry and patchy and scaly. Uh, all the years I've had psoriasis it's never been like this. So. Anyway, it's been a rough year and hopefully next year is going to be a better year. But anyway, this year is not over yet. Anyway. Uh, let's get some breakfast. I am back from running some errands. As you can tell, I've been outside, just finished hanging out the other load of washing that I had. <laughs> oh, I felt alright. No, I don't feel so crash hot again. Been very on and off again this morning. Um, I ended up going to Big W and buying a few things. So I'll do a little mini haul, but I'm going to do it later on. Um, show you what I got from there, from Kiki K and from Kmart yesterday. Um, that's the first time I've been shopping for a long time. I just was in the mood. I actually wanted to go look for a pillow. I didn't have the one I wanted. A Christmas pillow, but I had another one. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to sit for a bit, then work out what I want for lunch. I think we've got some bread rolls from yesterday, so I might just make up a bread roll or something. Something quick and easy, I think. I would like a salad, but uh, that seems like too much work. So I'll just probably just make a roll. And I can watch some cleaning videos and get inspired and hopefully tackle some cleaning. Still got to do the dishwasher. <laughs> I hate coming home to a mess, but the house is... As you can see, like those chairs are there. I moved them yesterday because I wanted to see Bailey and he was lying in the kitchen and I couldn't see him. So <laughs> that room's a bit untidy as well. So oh, I'm going to make a very valiant effort after lunch to get some things done. Hopefully you guys can keep me accountable. Okay, it's a bit late off. I've had my lunch. I've watched cleaning videos. I've watched kitchen cleaning videos. Mentally, I want to do stuff physically. My head is not feeling and I'm very, very sore in the head. I'm just trying to remember what I took. I took some Panadine when I was out. I might take some more because I think it actually worked. And I'm just going to do some stuff because behind me on the table and the, here we do, we do a pan around this is what I'm living with at the minute oh, all the washing out there <laughs> I've got 
stuff there. We have stuff there, including a dishwasher that's not emptied yet. And the, besides the dishwasher, the kitchen's probably not too bad. The bit of mess from lunch, drinks and stuff. The kitchen probably isn't too bad. Um, and then we go in here. We have some puppies and we have bits and pieces. <laughs> that table's a big mess. And again, not as bad as it looks. It looks a lot worse than it is. But I'm going to try and do some stuff. So I am going to push put my apron on but I don't know if I'm going to bother so I'm just going to try and tidy up the table a bit tidy up Rosie a bit see <laughs> kids mess tidy up that table that's my diary I've been working on clear off here sneak peek of some things we bought um, I want to grab the put the dog toys away grab the vacuum vacuum through here and then I'll put the chairs back in place and clear off those chairs I'm not going to drag the um, tripod out, so I've shown you before and I'll just show you after. I really like speed cleaning things and I know it's what I should do, but I, I just need to get this done and that's just one step too many for me to do right now. I have got a problem my heel spurs acting up a little bit, so hopefully that will behave itself, but yeah, oh, my stomach's now going stupid. But we're going to do this and then if I need another break, I will take another break and then I can do the kitchen and whatnot. Just, um, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, but you know, there's nothing stopping me working now. I don't have to go anywhere. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's me go and do this. Okay, this room, I think those new chairs need to get back a bit. But this room is back in order. The lounge room is back in order. A little fantastic one nail polish there to do. So, and I lit a candle. <laughs> so that's all done. It's also been vacuumed. Looks like somebody she loves the room again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am going to have a little break and then I'm going to come in here. I'll do that in a minute. Christy's home now. Um, there's Christy. <laughs> Okay, so everything's a bit of a jumble now, but I'll um, go through it. So from Kmart, Kevin was kind enough to go because I wanted to get this cushion and this particular um, garden sign. And we've got another one. They're very big, so they're bigger than what I thought. Maybe Kevin can actually trim a bit off. I wanted to put them in the pot plants at the front of the house. And then he also came home with this Christmas flamingo who's got no feet. We don't know why he's got no feet. Beautiful. But it's very cute. Kevin actually sent me a photo, which I'll insert so you can see it. Of the flamingo going around the supermarket and going around Kmart in the trolley. So anyway, they're really cute. And this is actually really nice because even the other side is just plain. So I can use that. I like that. That looks like that will not wear the best. Anyway, that's fine. Um, then from Kiki K, I got a delivery the other day. I did an order. They are having a sale. They don't have sales that often. It was 20% or 30% off. I can't remember now. So I've got some Christmas wrapping paper. Probably not a lot on there. I think there's only... Was this one and a half... Oh, one and a half metres per roll. So that's probably heaps for us for Christmas. But I thought they were really cute. And then I got some pens in there. That's going to go in my Christmas stocking. I've got a Christmas pen. So this is all on sale. Then I've got some Christmas labels. And then this is a present for Tara. It's sealed, so I can't show you. If I can remember, I'll put a link below. I think it was a um, was it a dream book or something about like planning the future kind of thing. I don't think this even tells you what's in it. I think you have to open it. And this was a diary I got. It's like so much smaller than the one I'm using. But the layout's the same. It's just... So it's got the calendar and then you remember from this morning it had the week there and then it, but the other one the one I had lines on this side none of these are lined they're all like geometric and patterns so it's not really going to be as good for um, writing down stuff so and I'm pretty sure that was the bigger one I need to check but I'm pretty sure that was the bigger one 
They did have two sizes. And I think on the different layout. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, but that's basically, I think, the diary I had. They've caught a, caught a neon, this one. I've renamed it Neon Coral. But yeah, I think that's kind of the only one they have like the one I like. Okay, then today I went to Big W and this wasn't the cushion I wanted, but this one is nice and it's so fluffy. It's really soft. Oh, so soft. Um, so I got that and I think they'll go nice. And now with my nice lounge, I can have some Christmas cushions. And I think I've got another Christmas cushion or at least a cover upstairs, maybe just a cover. I haven't tried this on yet, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it, but I've got this like a pool cover up or a... Just as it wears a little sundress, I guess. I mean, it's a pool cover up, but I could wear it around the house with a little dress. Um, so, got that. I thought it was cute. And then I did buy a few things that I'm taking back. And I'm going to keep, I think I'll keep this one. It's like a jammy top. Again, I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm not quite sure. It was $6. And it might be tight, but it might be all right. The other two I got, I'm taking back because I don't really like them on. To travel often with the you know, cheap things that don't sit as well. I did spot a little tiny bowl cover, <laughs> so I grabbed that. We've got big plate ones, and often we just stick the big plate one over the bowls. But I thought I would just grab the little one when I saw it. And lastly, I couldn't resist some little mini Scottish dogs <laughs> in the Walker's biscuits. <laughs> so, yeah, that's be a handy little standby thing to have. So that was all I've got. That was my little. Oh, no, I'm standing behind the last thing. The other thing we've got from Kmart. Kim went to get with this bin because I'm trying to do my recycling properly upstairs. So we now have... Oh, oh you've got to hold your foot down. Put in. So now I've got to divide a bin for upstairs so that we can actually recycle like our like, bathroom product things and soft plastics and same. So we can do some recycling upstairs. So it's going to... I was using two different bins up there which wasn't... You know, ideal because you could see them as well. So I wanted something that you can't see in. And then we have a Bailey. He's not new though. He does need to go to the vets, but I don't know. I think we'll leave that to tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Bailey. We've kind of got to Thursday really because that was when he had his surgery. And the vet just said Monday because he was in on the Monday last time. He's a good boy. The puppies are all excited because it's their favorite time of day. It's their dinner time. So they've got the dinner you saw me make the other day. They've got some egg poured over that left over from Christy's breakfast. And Pat Bailey has a bit of tomato as well. Um, excuse me. I don't know what you're doing over this side, because <laughs> your dinner goes over the other side. Oh, I yeah, tipped it everywhere. Oh, good puppies. Okay. <laughs> More excitement in our house. Poor Tara's had another seizure, so we just had to call an ambulance. Kevin's going to go in with her today. She usually she doesn't have trouble breathing, which is having trouble breathing. So, I'm just reheating up some Oliver's. Kevin was kind enough to stop. Well, I think they stopped for a break. And brought home some of those nice little veg veggie nuggets that we like. So, just put them in the oven. So, we're going to have them for dinner. And then kept poor Kevin's heading back to hospital again. That's two oxygen masks she's cost me now. <laughs> They're $5 each. Poor Tara. Oh, so hard on her seizure. The body works very hard. Anyway, she was coming around, so she'll, she'll be all right. But because they'd given her some medication, they said they couldn't leave her here, even though she was starting to come out. They've got to take her to hospital until she's sort of over the effects of that medication. Alright, I might see you again later on or I might just see you tomorrow. <laughs>